Welcome back. I'm the Easy Body Guy, and today I'm going to show you how to do a full reverse rollback bullet head style fly. That sounds like a lot, but it's really simple, and it's a great way to put a finished head onto your streamer pattern, and it's real simple. So let's get started. We're going to get our Easy Body tubing. And we're going to get a, a, our butane lighter and singe the end of the tubing, just lightly putting little tiny balls on the end of the tubing. This is going to help our thread to stay on the tubing as we secure it to the hook shank. Now, as you can see, I've already tied on some material to be the wing and tail of the fly. And the tubing is just going to be the head and the body of the fly. So once we get this tubing secured, and I'm using two hands, it's a very common technique, I'm going to work my thread up to the back side of the hook eye. At this point, I'm going to stop. Now, the hand whip finish is very important when working with tubings. Mostly because the hand whip allows you to work with a complete full piece of tubing. And you'll never waste material because you'll be able to tie it down, whip the finish, and then measure your tubing and cut it as needed. If you try to cut your tubing in advance, chances are you're going to miscalculate it and you're going to end up wasting material. So I generally advise everybody to learn how to do the, the hand whip finish and get proficient at it because this is going to save you material, which in turn saves you money. Now, as we all know in a hand whip, you create a triangle. And the perpendicular strand travels around the hook shank. So I'm going to start to make my first turn. And as I do, I'm going to need to pull the tubing through the whip, through the triangle. I'll come around again. And as I approach the vertical point, pull the tubing through. And just continue to do this three, four, five times. At this point, I'm going to seat down the whip, tighten it, and then trim it off. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to roll the material rearward And I'm going to get a pretty good idea of where I need to trim the material. So at this point, I'm going to hold the material at the fold and roll it forward. And as I get by the hook eye, that's where I pinch and hold the material and draw it forward. I'm going to come in with my other hand and butt my fingertips together and this is where I'm going to trim the material. I'm going to come in with my utility scissors and trim it. I'm going to once again get my butane lighter and I'm going to singe the end of the material sealing it up and shape it a little bit. So I'm going to get some cement and apply it to the thread wraps. Okay. And then we'll just roll that material rearward again. Just like a pair of socks, turning it inside out. And now that is the correct length because we don't want the material to go 
too far down the hook bend because that's going to force the body shape to go downward and we don't want that. We want that to maintain a nice straight body shape in line with the hook. So that that's pretty much it and now you can color the tubing with magic marker if you want to match the, the uh, wing color. You can add eyes and uh, you don't have to do anything with thread wraps because the thread wraps are hidden. And that's pretty much it. So there you have it, the full reverse bullet head.